we're just now learning. We're just now learning to walk mm -hmm. in this space. Mm -hmm. And what's what's holding us back a little bit is this kind of legacy understanding of TV, movie, um, of video, traditional stuff like that. It's not that that stuff is going to go away, just like novels haven't gone away, mm -hmm. just like music hasn't gone away. Mm -hmm. It's that we're moving ahead and all these things are going to now inform where we end up right. for, and how, for example, the, how that playbook evolves. One of our biggest players in creating quality content, HBO. Mm -hmm. So no, right now- ours. We would love to work with HBO. Right. Well, I mean, our as in, as as in, in the filmmaking humanities. creative community. Right. Well, specifically a very Hollywood perspective, mm -hmm. right? So a traditional high quality Hollywood perspective, HBO. Mm -hmm. They make something, it's a hit. How? What? Wow. But look at Watchmen right now. If you go to the front page of HBO.com, mm -hmm. you click on Watchmen, up comes the Watchmen page. On that, and this is really cool, uh, you have you have the main show link for what's coming up next. You have a series of, of character-driven uh, additional material. Mm -hmm. One of the characters in the series has posted additional content mm -hmm. and it looks like web circa 1998. Really? Yeah. Okay. So that's for a deep dive. You also have the Craig Mazin, Damon Lindelof official podcast. Mm -hmm. And then over there, you also have Trent Reznor and is it Atticus Finch? Atticus. Atticus Finch. Uh, Atticus, Atticus Finch, but. Uh, not, I'm, I'm wrong Atticus. character from uh, To Kill a okay, right, right. It was an amazing <laughs> collaboration. Uh, but it's their, it's their special soundtrack created for Watchmen, right, okay. which you can hear on Spotify. Yep. And then you also have um, testimonial videos from fellow creators talking about yeah. mm -hmm. what Watchmen meant to them. And I bring this up because there is no more awarded, higher profile content, and they're doing everything at once. Right. Everything that Lewis just talked about, mm -hmm. plus probably there's somewhere they're doing an, uh, the Watchmen VR experience where mm -hmm. they've yeah, shot their sets or whatever. And that is heartening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're stepping into the creative media space and the experiential element of it is what's there. Right. Because there's room for all of us as creators and that mindset. And you know what? PDpedia is the old 1998 web style where you can mm. dive into memos and things that mm. weren't in the universe of the show. I spent two hours on that, reading each one, bringing up the police report that first showed the amnesia. Right. And, and it's like, wow, yeah, that's, know, there's, there's still room. And then I listened to the podcast after the show. And, and that's great because that is saying, this is not freaky. It's not weird. Mm -hmm. right, right. Now I can go to a client and say, it might be a little bit of everything that's the right answer. <laughs>